Good afternoon. It's Sunday the 10th of December 2023 and this is a reading for whenever you come to it. It doesn't matter when. Um, it might make sense to you and it might not. Um, in meditation <clears throat> today, I've seen an empty music score and only the only thing on it is a treble clef um, and a blue ball. Uh, a very pearlescent blue ball. Now this tells me that the blue signifies, I believe, the throat chakra. So maybe some of you are experiencing issues with um, speaking up for yourself, um, telling the truth about something. Maybe your throat chakra is um, slightly blocked. Maybe you've been a little bit quiet. Maybe you've stopped singing. I think the music score, the empty music score, is to remind all of us that um, singing, whether you're a brilliant singer or not, is a really good way to clear the throat chakra. Um, there was I only saw two bars, so I believe that some someone might come to this reading who. It might be writing a song and has just got the first two bars down or is singing over and over again. So you might have got a song in your head and you might have only got the two bars that you're going round and round. Um, it's there to, I think we all need to sing. I think we all need to um, <clears throat> clear out the throat chakra a little bit. Um, Time to come clean, I think, um, and say what is on your mind. Um, and if it's not something that you're holding back on, maybe you're a musical person. You could be um, inclined to be a musical person who has not really done much with it for, a, for quite a while. I think it might be quite healing um, to clear out your throat chakra and do some singing. Um, you don't have to be an, an ace, fantastic crack singer. Um, it's about enjoying it. Um, and I think there's a passage in um, the Bible, if you're a religious person, that you are supposed to be singing at the top of your lungs in praise of... Um, God, the universe, spirit, whatever you deem to be your higher power. Praising, giving thanks for what we do have and voicing it, somehow voicing it. I've got it that it's through song anyway. I've got the Rider Waite deck today. I just want to have a look at what the cards are going to tell us about the week ahead. Oh... Where, whenever you come to this, this could be relevant to you whenever you come to it, but anyway, um, maybe not put a date on it, let me just say whenever, whenever you come to this, it might have some relevance um, to you. Another message that I did get, um, and I don't know whether to do a reading on this person or not because I don't know anything about them really. But I did get another message that if this person means anything to you at all, someone called Vivek Ramaswamy, I believe he's a politician, is in danger. Um, he's in danger. He needs to be careful. That's all I have for now. If you want me to do a reading on this person, I'm quite happy to do that. But I won't be going into doing any huge research about him beforehand because I do find that and I don't really know very much. The reading comes out much more um, without my subconscious um, opinion, a subconscious bias, if you like. So I don't know much about this person. Anyway, let's have a ride away. What's the theme for the week? 
or whatever you come to it, please. Oh, we've got one the wrong way around. Let's have a look at that. Okay. Six of Pentacles. It's about sharing what you have, being a benevolent person, but it's also about being grateful for what you... It's about being grateful for what you have and also being um, quite benevolent with others less fortunate than yourselves. The theme here, I think, is gratitude. So, um, I'm not a rich person. I don't have a lot of money. I don't own my own house, all that kind of thing. But I do have enough to um, keep the roof over my head and food on the table. And I am eternally grateful for that. Um, yes, I have issues in my life. We all do. Um, I think the theme for this week is to... Maybe make a, a gratitude list and see where, maybe open your eyes a little bit wider as you walk through life um, right now and see where you are, where you should be more grateful for what you already have. Um, we're coming up to Christmas. Um, I don't know what it's like in other countries, but in the UK at least we have... Lots and lots and lots of charities all all begging for more money, um, and because we live in a cost, we're in a cost of living crisis at the moment. They're also having uh, financial issues keeping afloat. Uh, maybe if you don't have money, maybe um, give time to a charity organisation or. I don't know, an animal shelter. And if you don't have time, give a smile. Smile at people who you wouldn't normally notice. You know, the people on the street. Um, people begging on the street. Um, people who might look like a bit scruffy or you probably might avoid normally. Try and see behind what you see. And try and keep in your head that we are all tiny sparks of God and um, everyone is here for a purpose. So the Six of Pentacles is about give, uh, give and take. Um, but it's about balance and it's also about benevolence and gratitude. Let's have another one. Oh. We have we have the six of no we don't have the six we have the seven of wands so while you're being grateful for everything you have you might be coming across some um, issues um, when you come to this video you might be feeling like you are trying to stay on top of things um, keeping the devil from the door um, maybe having quite a lot of battles to face but um, you will stay on top of it maybe not quite worry quite so much about it it would be quite it will be quite exhausting you will feel quite exhausted and then we have the two of swords so decision time the blindfold cuts down one of our senses so when you can't see one of the, your senses is dulled which means that you've got you have to rely more on your in, your intuition the moon symbolizes intuition the sword symbolizes the mind the intellect um, you have an intellectual uh, decision to make with your mind, but you are asked to not, don't analyse it mentally quite so much, go with your gut, whatever that decision is. One more. One more, please. So you're going to feel like you're sort of keeping, you batting away the... Batting away the um, 
I don't know, debt collectors. I don't know why I had to say that, but debt collector came up. You you know, you're trying to keep away from um, trying to stay on top of your finances, perhaps. Maybe there's a lot of family issues. But out of that, you will, there will be a decision that you will be um, get drawing close to make and you are advised to go with your gut rather than your head. And the outcome of that is the justice card. Yet another sword card. Um, it's not a sword. I was going to say sword. Um, but it's the card for Libra. Libra is from the suit of swords. This is about um, whatever decision you make. It will be a fair decision. It doesn't mean that you're going to make everybody happy with that decision. Or maybe you are awaiting a decision through court for something. If that's the case, the outcome will be just the outcome will be fair doesn't necessarily mean that you will get everything you want the judgment will be a fair one um let's have a map an enchanted map oracle by colette baron reed So that's quite interesting, isn't it? The ingratitude. Um, whenever you come to this, try and be in gratitude. Try and um, have a balanced mindset. Um, a decision is on its way, but it will be an intuitive decision and it will be a fair one. Right, let's have an enchanted Oracle. It's only going to be a quick reading today. <coughs> <coughs> I tend to get a clog in my throat. Oh, when I'm about to come out with something great. So what's this? We've got encouragement, but it was um, what's the word? Reversed. Let's have a look at the book. Number 54, it's a nine. So coming to the end of something, we've still got a ways to go with something. 54. 54. Oh, I think it's the last card in the deck. Is it? Fifty-three. 54. It was reversed. A misstep isn't the end of the world. You fall into a trap of false courage and only humility will lead you out of it. Perhaps you won't listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition this week. And now you're in a jam. Being too self-reliant without knowing the ropes has brought you to this place. Don't become too discouraged. All is well and you can always start again. Take another road and surely discover new territories where love really blooms. Just remember to rely on your higher power. You can't always get what you want, but spirit knows your needs. Something better waits around the corner. That's very, very interesting because when the Two of Swords, where are we? Two of Swords and the Justice came out, it's like, rely on, rely on your higher power, rely on your intuition. Judgment is going to be made, but it's and it's going to be fair. It's not necessarily be, going to be what you are hoping for or what you want. But according to the um, map, um, if you don't get what you want, it's because something better is about to appear. Trust and belief. Trust and belief. Right. Rounding off, we're going to have a Crystal Spirit um, Oracle, also by Colette Baron Reed. I want a nice healing, a healing crystal um, for people who collect crystals. Um, and people are interested in in crystals. I don't know too much about many of them i know which ones i like i know which ones i use often um i know which ones work for me very well 
I know which ones are healing for me very well. And I know the ones that um, I'm not called to use right now. Um, but this little book has um, some nice information in it that goes along with these cards. So let's, let's have a crystal for whenever you finish this reading. chakra one if ever I saw it where's my where's my book it was here right number 14 carnelian see one and four is a five I don't like the number five it usually means challenges um 14 I'm looking at number five and it's 14 <coughs> Essential meaning is increased confidence, dignity, poise and self-assurance. Rising above the fray is much easier when you feel confident in your strengths and know that the conscious universe is lighting the path for you. There's no shame in feeling unsure as, if, as you leave behind the unfamiliar, but Carnelian Spirit is here to help you grow your confidence so that you can experience dignity and poise even when it is clear that you are imperfect and not completely certain of what step to take next. You have come so far and grown so much. Give yourself credit and know that you make the best decisions for the good of all when you feel self-assured because you are connected to the conscious universe, your co-creator at all times. You are awake and alert, heeding the signs that guide you on the healing path. So hold your head high. When Carnelian spirit appears, it's not a time for second guessing yourself. Did you forget how much power you have to co-create the reality you wish to experience? You are called today to be confident in your strengths, to feel self-assured as you deal with unexpected challenges or boldly move forward into uncharted territory to explore its possibilities for you. Feel the strength of the conscious universe propelling you forward. Walk with dignity and grace, for you are truly capable of co-creating all you need and more. Right. While I was reading this, what sprang to mind was two things. The beginning of this reading, I was talking about music, creating music, the music school, where all was there, or the only thing that was there was the treble clef. And there's two bars. You're either stuck on two bars or you're singing two bars. And the importance of opening the throat chakra. This is about, I think, someone, maybe someone who watches my videos, maybe, maybe someone who comes to this video, who um, has put music to one side some time ago and is now trying to pick it back up but has lost confidence. Keep going. Because you do have the the skills, you do have the talent to do it. Um, put put the self consciousness to one side. This is also about uh, the reading work that talks about de making decisions, making decisions, um, having to make a decision that possibly isn't going to go your way, and you're going to have to go in a different path. This is what's going to help you with um, self confidence. So if you have carnelian. Walk about with that in your pocket for a bit. Um, anyway, that's me done and I shall see you soon. Take care. Ta-ra.